Namaste. I'm Dr. Robert, and today I'd like to speak with you about Vimalananda's daily musings, the three things that he informed himself of in the morning, and the three questions he asked himself in the evening. Every morning, he would remind himself of three things. First, that he was going to die. Second, that as a result of being alive, he had the opportunity to make something useful out of his day, and therefore, he was always grateful and thankful for being alive. And the third was a prayer, a prayer to the Supreme Reality to permit him to get through the day remaining alert, calm, and honest with himself and not cheating his consciousness. So those were the three things he did first in the morning, to remember he was going to die, to be thankful for being alive, and to express a prayer, praying that he would not cheat his conscience and that he would be able to live through his day in a, a judicious and a righteous fashion. At the end of the day, he would ask himself three questions. Have I lived? Have I lived meaning, have I really gone through the day? Have I made the best of every moment of that day? Had I brought my attention to everything that required my attention? Had I been present during the day? Had I not wasted my time or killed time or passed time or let time pass me by? Had I lived? Have I loved? During that day, did, did, was my heart open not only to my family members, but to everyone, all sentient beings, everyone who deserves compassion and mercy and metta or maitri or friendship? And number three, have I laughed? Have I looked at some of those things I did during the day and laughed at myself and seen how I could have things, done things differently, seen in the ways in which I failed to live up to my potential? And laughing at yourself is the key here, not berating yourself, not beating yourself with a stick, not telling yourself how terrible you were, but simply acknowledging that even though perhaps I got through the day in one piece, I might have done so in a way that was not at its most optimal. And I can always try to do better on the next day if God is kind enough to permit me to wake up. So this, this practice of starting off with the right attitude and ending by reviewing the day, this is included in many Sanskritic texts, including Ayurvedic texts. It's something that is regarded as being essential for living life properly and judiciously and rightly. So this practice of asking yourself these questions in the evening, and then if you were lucky enough to wake up the next morning, setting your intention for the day. This is a practice that I do myself. I've been doing for many decades now. It benefits me greatly because it causes me to reevaluate everything that I have done during the day, and it permits me to be aware of the fact that when I get up in the morning and when I start the day, I have the potential to live one more day. It may be the day that I die. I need to be pre prepared for that also, but it may be the day that simply moves me on to the next day, and so I may need to be able to live through the entire day. I have to be prepared both to die and to live, and at the end of the day, I have to be prepared to evaluate what I've done when I lived so that when I am ready to die, I can do so with a clear conscience. This is Dr. Robert wishing everyone a very happy experience of both morning and night.